GTI might be the icon, but R is the king. And now the TIG one has been anointed. Now I should clear something up. Don't confuse this R badge with R line. Slightly sporty. This though is the real deal. Under here is the 320 horsepower engine from the new Golf R, all inside Volkswagen's family favorite. So is it a curious combo or the perfect mix? Let's find out. To start with, there are zero efforts made to hide the R-ness of this car. Everywhere you look is that R logo or something blue, all borrowed like the drivetrain from the Golf R. You don't need to look hard to spot the cues, the big rear roof spoiler, the blue brakes and the bigger lower grille. And it's not there for looks. What hasn't gone is any of the Tiguan's practicality. Inside here, 615 litres of cargo space, and if you fold the seats down, 1665. Speaking of seats, the R gets Napa leather. Uh, but for all the R colour themes, this is as much about appointment as sportiness. Three zone climate control and Volkswagen's new buttonless dash. There's also CarPlay and Android Auto, all wireless. Well, that's the R, uh, now for the R. Uh. Yes, because it's only on the road that the 235 kilowatt engine can be truly appreciated. And yes, it really does steal the show but there is a heck of a supporting act. There's the Golf R's seven-speed gearbox and it doesn't stop there. The entire four-motion drivetrain, including the torque vectoring rear diff, is straight out of the Golf R. And that rear diff is crucial to the way this car drives. There is no denying the Tiguan is bigger, it's taller, it's heavier than the Golf. So the ability of that axle to send all 420 Nm to either of the rear wheels has a physics-defying impact on the way this car corners. I mean, we're out here in the wet and this is incredible. It sends all the power to the outside rear wheel and it pulls you through and out of the bend. The chassis is also upgraded. The Tiguan R sits lower and on stiffer springs with adaptive dampers. So it feels sharper and sits flatter than any Tiguan ever did. And thanks to the DCC, you can dial in everything from off-road to comfort. The thing is, if you select comfort mode, this car does a pretty good impression of a regular Tiguan. Not bad considering those 21-inch wheels. But speaking of the Dr. Jekyll side of this car, it will also tow 2.2 top. The Tiguan R range starts at 8990. This though is the first edition model for 85990 at Giltrap Volkswagen. That comes with the panoramic sunroof and Harman Kardon audio. Well, let's get back to the heart of the R and this blue button on the steering wheel. Push that, then uh, turn off your stability and traction control and you effectively get launch control. And that's zero to 100 in 5.1 seconds. That's the official number. I've seen tests where it's got even faster. This really is the Tiguan I never knew I wanted. That acceleration's like the exclamation mark. They actually make that a question mark because why didn't Volkswagen do this car sooner? This is a genuine R, more than worthy of the R logo, all 18 of them.